Oh, you're back. Come here. Let me have a look at you. You know you've got another smudge on your cheek. Of course you do. Let me get that. Tell me, why do you always look like such a mess? Aren't you taking care of yourself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Well, you're giving it some effort at least. I'll give you that. No. Are you coming to bed or what? Oh, I'm only here because I got tired of waiting for you. Not like I missed you or anything, or that I'm keeping your bed warm. Just shush. And no, you're not sleeping in the other room. I want you here. This is your bed, isn't it? Just because I've taken it doesn't mean, doesn't mean there's no room for you. I'll scooch over if you want, or I'll go back to my room. You want me to stay? Fine. But only because I'm tired. I'm already comfortable. Patience has never been one of my strengths, so... Why don't you do me a favor and just get in? Because I'm not going to be holding this blanket up for you forever. It's, it's getting cold. I don't like the cold. Yes. Ah, oh, finally. My coat isn't as thick as you'd think. And there's nothing better than a cozy bed. Yeah, yeah, I know there isn't much room, but it's not my fault you have a tiny bed and that I'm a big girl. So you'll just have to make do. Just go to sleep. What? What now? What do you mean there's not enough room? You're not gonna fall out of bed. It must be funny in the head. <sighs> okay, fine. Come closer. You could lean into me. But don't you dare think that this is snuggling. I'm only holding on to you because I don't want you injuring yourself. I can't have you rolling off the bed. I'm losing any more brain cells. And I don't want my report to say that I've hurt you. Okay? That's it. There. That better? You comfortable now? Okay. You know, I never really thought about this, but you feel kind of small in my arms. You're like the size of a pup. You remind me of the little ones I used to take care of at the shelter. Some days. I wonder why you decide to adopt me. A wolf girl. When you could barely take care of yourself. So what's your deal? 
Are you lonely or something? Did you want a puppy to play with? Something to pet? Love? Hmm? What? <laughs> Am I being too blunt? It's not my fault, I'm honest. You just don't seem like most masters I've known. You're different. Not in a bad way or anything, but... I just, I don't know why. But I feel like I'm the one taking care of you these days. Here I am, cleaning smudges off your face. Holding you so you don't fall off the bed. Mm. Fighting the urge to pat your head. What? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I don't need you to pet me. That's not what I meant. I don't need that kind of affection from you. Okay, snuggling is more than enough. I don't need head pats. It was never a lap dog. Never small enough anyways. I don't need people looking after me. I've always looked out for others. I suppose it's instinct. And now, I'm stuck with you. Until I grow too big. Until you grow tired of me. And then I guess I'll probably go back to the shelter. Yeah, the shelter. I know this is temporary. Just because you adopted me doesn't mean I'll be calling this place home. As far as I'm concerned, I won't be staying long anyways. And that's how it's always been. Every time. Every master. And now I'm never here for long. What's wrong? Haven't you read my history reports when you adopted me? Oh, pup, you are naive. Now I can't help but want to pet you. I wasn't always this size, you know. So big. And when I was a pup, I looked like all the others. Small, cute, normal. And then I was adopted once. The adopted family loved me. Loved me until I didn't fit in anymore. Then I tried to be normal. But I'm part wolf. It's in my nature to be wild. And I was never really meant to be a domestic pet. So, when I couldn't hide my true self, your size any longer. My family turned me away. It was as simple as that. One day I just didn't belong. I'd go back to the shelter. Each time I was adopted, I'd be abandoned again. So, I don't see why this would be any different. And you might as well know what you're in for. Although, 
I am surprised you've kept me as long as you have. Hmm? What is it, pup? Why are you holding onto my paw so tight? It's strange. I told you I'm not gonna let you fall off the bed, okay? You can loosen your grip. And you're sorry. Why? You're not obligated to show me any sympathy. I'm not trying to guilt you. Just as I said before. I'm just honest. Nonetheless. Thank you. Your kindness is appreciated. I know I'm rough around the edges, but... You softened me. I've never really had a chance to be close with someone. Not like this. I'm truth to be told. I don't really... I don't really know how to act around you. Part of me wants to... scratch you and run away. And another part of me wants to... wants to stay. It's in my nature to be aggressive, violent, but I'm in more control nowadays. As for my fight or flight, I guess I still don't really have a good grasp on my urge to run. When I see you hold on to my paws like this, well, do you want me to stay here? Do you feel safe with me? <sighs> I don't really want to hurt people, and I never want to hurt you. Perhaps you could be the one who'll finally teach me to stay. It's hard for me to admit this, but... Could you be patient with me? I've always wanted to belong. To have a fact of my own. I've just... Never really been given a chance to choose my own family. I've learned to expect the worst from people. I've built up walls to protect myself. And I say things I don't mean because it's just always been easier to push others away. And then to confront feelings I don't understand. I'm sorry I've been cool towards you. You've always tried to make me feel welcome, dear. You've always tried to say nice things to me. You've given me shelter. A place to call home. And I've kept you at a distance because I don't know how to accept kindness. It's such a foreign feeling for me. These comforts. But maybe I could be loved. Maybe this could be home. It just hasn't really sunk in yet. I need time. Because I'm 
scared. I'm scared that this could all be taken away from me. And that you'll change your mind. I, I know you probably won't. Then there's always a voice in my head. Hopefully it'll fade the longer I get a hold on to you. Maybe one day I could call this place home. I hope you'll bear with me until then. I hold. I'm thankful for you, pup. For accepting me. You're either very brave or very foolish to let a wolf like me hold you. <sighs> I hope you remember that I'm dangerous. Or I could be. A little squeeze, and well, I won't. I'll be gentle with you. <laughs> You're sweet. You've got a big heart for someone of your size. Maybe this is why I feel comfortable sharing these feelings with you. That said, I'm not going to be calling you master. You may have taken me home, but... You're my pup. My pup. And it's not just because of my size. No. It just feels like I should be the one taking care of you. You deserve to be taken care of. Out there in the world, you're always looking out for others. So maybe at home, I could take care of you. Plus, <laughs> you seem to be enjoying those head pads and pampering. <laughs> It's true. Don't deny it. You've practically melted in my arms. And I feel extra protective of you. My pup. My pup. We're equals, okay? I don't mind taking care of you when you need it. When you're exhausted and tired, I'll be here. I'll look over you. And in time, I'll learn to accept you as family. This place could be my home. I really hope so. Would you mind if I stay in your bed tonight? Because, well, it's cold. And I spent a lot of time getting these blankets just right. And I, I guess I enjoying having you close to me. Your body against my chest. Cuddling with you feels... Mm, it feels good. Your warmth is something I could get used to. So I'm gonna hold on to you for as long as you allow me to. Okay. Mm, okay. Mm. And if 
I squeeze you too tight. It's your 